Does your Internet Explorer browser seem slow? Does it seem to crash, hang, or close unexpectedly? Or do you sometimes receive an error dialog that resembles this? If you do, you're not alone. And this happens a lot because just about any website you visit stores cookies and files on your computer and sometimes add-ons to the browser toolbar. Sometimes these files and add-ons cause freezing and crashing. A quick solution to fix this problem is to reset Internet Explorer. Resetting your browser is fast and easy, and it's only about seven steps. But there's a few things you'll need to know before we get started. When you reset your browser, you remove all of your customizations that get added on over time when you use the Internet. Some of those customizations are good to get rid of because they slow things down, but some are also helpful. This means you will lose all of your website passwords that automatically fill in when you visit web pages that require a password. This would be a good time to write down those passwords to all of your frequently visited websites. Your list of web page favorites and cookies will be removed. Also, the web page history is deleted. This means that you won't get that automatic fill in when you start typing a website into the address bar. Add-ons like the Google Toolbar, Maps, MSN Live Toolbar, or the Yahoo Toolbar will all be uninstalled. You will need to reinstall the ones that you decide to keep using. What we're doing here is essentially starting with a fresh version of Internet Explorer without going through the hassle of reinstalling it. So now you're saying, should I really do this? It sounds a little scary, but really it isn't. You should reset your browser every few months anyway because it clears out all the junk that slows down your computer while surfing the internet and enhances your browsing experience. If you don't use Internet Explorer 7 or you don't want to reset everything, there are some really good instructions for this problem here. Keep in mind that you can pause this video at any time and use the slider at the bottom to move back and forth in the video, just in case you miss something. If you're watching this video in a browser window, make sure to create a shortcut to it on your desktop following these steps. Right-click anywhere on the page, then click Create Shortcut, and then select Yes in the dialog box. Now let's get started. Step 1. Close all open applications, except for the one that's playing this video. Step 2. Open a new Internet Explorer window the way you normally do. You might use the E icon on the quick launch bar, or the E icon on your desktop, or, of course, the icon on the start menu. Simply use the method that you're comfortable with and continue. Step 3. Click Tools on the browser toolbar, and then click Internet Options. Step 4. Click the Advanced tab. Step 5. Click the Reset button, and click Reset again on the dialog box. Now just wait for the browser to reset. Step 6. Click Close on the confirmation box. If you receive a message stating that you may need to restart Internet Explorer for the changes to take effect, click OK, and then click OK again to close the Internet Options dialog box. And then close all Internet Explorer windows. Step 7. The last step is to check whether it worked. Open a new Internet Explorer window and begin surfing. If you know that this problem occurred by visiting a particular web page or by following certain steps, try that now and see whether the Internet Explorer problem still occurs. If the problem occurred intermittently, you might have to visit different web pages or use Internet Explorer for several days before you can determine whether the problem is resolved. Just one last thing. 
if this didn't work, or for that matter, even if it did, there are two things that you should also do. Use Microsoft Update to keep your computer up to date. Simply follow the instructions on their site, update.microsoft.com. Also make sure that you have a scanner that scans and removes malicious software. You gotta have this. You can buy one, or there are some out there that are free. You can also try the Microsoft OneCare site and use their free safety scanner. It scans for malicious software like adware, viruses, basically the really bad stuff that not only slows down your browser, but also may create havoc with your computer in general. OneCare.Live.com Please make sure to let us know if this video was helpful using the comments and rating features. We'd love to hear what you think. You're now finished, and you can close this video at any time. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope that it helped.